I love living a cozy farmer's life in Minecraft. Really? Minecraft? Yeah, because it actually has a beautiful peaceful farming site and with a couple of cute animals and decoration mods, I want to build up the ultimate animal farm for myself all within 100 days. It's day one in this brand new world and I can't wait to get started with my cozy farms. We spawn in this forest so we can't really see much, but I can already see something behind the trees and that's a giant plains biome. Perfect. But before we run off to make a cozy animal home, we gotta gear up. Hello? Forget gearing up, we're getting a bird. Wait, I literally just got the bird. I got the bird. I'm keeping this bird in my inventory. Oh, it went on my head. I have a bird on my head. But after all of that distraction, let's just go ahead and punch a tree. And let's quickly craft a pickaxe. Whoa, hello. There was a chimkin. I'm gonna love this world so much. I see a cave down there and I also see a weird little thing. Let's ignore that and get some stone. Oh my gosh, there's a sheep. It's so cute. And I really need a bed. But since I'm building a cozy animal farm, I want to try my best to not hurt any animals in this world. So to make a bed, we need to get two iron and then make shears. Well, at least I won't be starving because I just found some carrots. Oh my gosh, this sheep is so cute. See, I would never hurt this animal. Unless I get hungry. Just kidding. Ah, there's a thing. Is that a ferret? Hello? I have a ferret. It's in my hand. It's like crawling up my hand. That's so creepy. Let's set it free again. Enjoy your life. Bye. Wait, no, I'm actually keeping it. Okay, enough distractions. We need to stay focused on our task. I'm not going in that cave though. I was scared, okay? This is not very cottagecore. Have you seen some iron? <laughs> wow, people are rude in these parts of the forest. I'm terrified of these in real life. Ooh, cave. Let's try this again. Ooh, scary. Yay, coal. Now we just gotta find iron. And after running through a bunch of scary cave tunnels, I found some coal, and then more coal, and even more coal, but still no iron. Oh no, and it's nighttime outside. Nope. And since I still don't have any iron, I'm just gonna spend this night in the caves. Yay. And as soon as I decided that, I literally came across iron. I mean, yay. But why now? Why not sooner, Minecraft? Why? I mean, when you light everything up, the caves aren't that scary anymore. Ooh, there's an opening. Nope, 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 nope. So I basically spent the whole night caving and not being scared while having a bird on my head and a ferret in my pocket. Don't judge me. Go away, I'm scared. Ah! Go away. Go away, don't hurt my animals. Or me. Don't hurt me either. I did not want to come across this. Ooh. 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 Why just one chest? That's so... Uh. Wait, oh my gosh, saddle. Oh. Now we find iron. Too little, too late, Minecraft. Wait, it's actually day two already and I've just been in the mines. Let's hope I know how to get out of here. Five minutes later. Oh my gosh, I found the exit to this horrible cave. Let's go. Bye bye, darkness. We survived. And we got so much good stuff. Now let's craft some shears. And then we gotta find a sheep. Wait, that sounded so ominous. I'm really not gonna hurt the sheep. I'm just gonna shear it. Oh my gosh, there's a snail. Mine. There's a rooster. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. No distractions. Sheep. Ooh, look at those pretty flowers. They are so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, and there's like a bird. There's a bird. I said no more distractions. Oh my gosh, there are cows. I thought it was a bear at first and got really scared. Hello, cows. You're so cute. I'm not gonna eat you either. Bird. Bird. Many cows. Pretty chickens. Aha, I climbed the mountain and there are glitching horses. Ooh, they disappeared. You're not a sheep. You're dangerous. So I need to get closer and take a look at you. You're not dangerous, but I can't pick you up either. Ow. Ow. Oh my gosh, white bird. I need mine. Oh my gosh, the pigs. So cute. Look at them. Wait, the sun is setting and I still haven't found any sheep. I'm scared in the forest, so I'm going over there. And there are different kinds of fish. New fish. No distractions. No dis- Ooh. Nope. When you actually start to regret not killing the sheep that I found on day one. Can any of you be sheep, please? Ah, those are not sheep. Oh, that's so cute. I'm taking it. I'm saving you from the evil zombies. Go away. Wait, there are sheep here. Give me your wool. And I'm running away. I can't run. I'm escaping. Very slowly, but I'm escaping. And now it's underwater crafting time. Bed and sleep. I survived. Wait, I'm drowning. No, 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 no. And now that we survived the night, we can actually explore this beautiful plains biome. Also, there's a duck. It's so cute. It's running away. I love 
this world. Also, there's a skeleton in the background. Stop ruining my beautiful cottagecore moment, you idiot. We definitely got to set up camp somewhere before my inventory space runs out. Oh yeah, it already has. And I'm thinking sunflower fields are very pretty. So I'm just gonna set up a nice storage area. It started raining. Why? I just put all my animals in there. Also, I put the ferret on my head. It's so cute. But after spending the majority of my time in this world freaking out about cute animals, it was time to take things seriously and get geared up so I made a furnace and started smelting my iron. And the iron was still smelting on day 4. And also there's a beautiful rainbow next to beautiful flowers and beautiful cute cows. Life is good. I can also make a bucket now, which is just looking amazing. Look at this bucket! And now we can start farming crops because I'm starving and if I don't want to eat animals then I have to eat carrots instead. Wait, I didn't leave any carrots for myself. Why am I like this? And after I made myself a nice set of iron armor and some iron tools, it was time to go exploring. I just realized I can't have both the helmet and an animal on my head, so now I don't want this anymore. Ferrets rule. And I think before I start exploring, I want to find a horse. Ah, what the heck? That was so scary. It's a really, really tiny spider. It's so disgusting. I'm deleting this world right now. Oh my gosh, butterfly. I changed my mind. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And there are the horses. I think I'm just gonna tame all of them and then see who's the fastest horse. Yay, best friends. Definitely not staying best friends because this is too slow for me. Also, I found more food. I'm saved. I don't have to eat sheep. Not that I would have. <laughs> this horse is also way too slow. And also I found these onions. And now it's nighttime and I left my bed at home. Pro Minecraft. On day five, I was still taming horses. Okay, I think I finally found a sort of fast horse. Also, there's a goose and it's coming for me. Ah! Let's put the diamond armor on this horse. It's even shinier than I am now in my iron gear. I'm jealous of this horse. And now let's go exploring because I need a lot of different resources for my beautiful animal farm. The first thing we need is of course spruce wood. Ew, cave. So let's head towards the mountains. I'm sure there's gonna be some spruce up there. Please Minecraft, please, please, please. I'm sinking, I'm drowning. Hey horse, I'm gonna name you Kevin. Oh, he likes that. Kevin, you stay here while I'm gonna climb this massive mountain and look for spruce. Do not run away, Kevin. He's so gonna run away. It's the climb, I can't climb here. Oh my gosh. Wait, I just got distracted and started caving and there's just this giant view and spruce on the other side. Look at this. This is amazing, but I actually still wanna know if there's spruce on this mountain. There's nothing up here. Literally nothing. There's a spruce tree behind me. I climbed the wrong mountain. Also, I see Kevin glitching in the background. Wait, there's a spruce tree there and I walked right past it. What the heck? Ah, it's a child. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, surface coal. I got so distracted. I almost forgot to get that spruce wood. And most importantly, I want to get some spruce saplings and at least four of them for big tree reasons. I also just found the iron jackpot. Oh, yeah. Ew, I also found a spider. Oh no. This is the day a spider threw me off the mountain. <laughs> it owns this mountain now. I'm leaving. Ooh, swamp. Okay, I'm picking up some lily pads. Also, I just found rice. I also picked up some more stuff for decorating, like these vines and dead bushes and mushrooms. Oh, and this stick bug. Now I just need to find my horse so we can continue exploring. Oh, Kevin. Oh, chickens. Kevin. And hopefully I can find a village so I can loot it and steal their stuff. Oh, I found those. You'll be cool again when the 1.21 update comes out. Bye, boring wolves. On my travels, I found a scary dark oak forest and took all the saplings. Kevin also kept throwing me off on the river. Bad horse. Ew, the spider is there again. We're not going that way. Oh my gosh, it's a dragonfly. Wait, I somehow made it back to my storage. Which is perfect so we can dump our haul in here. You know, in case we die in a remote place. Also, I forgot that I added this cool texture pack so when you craft, die, and then combine it with your bed, you get a really funky bed. Oh my gosh, it has fish. There are so many cute designs that I got the fish bed. It's staying now. And then my search for a village continued. Ew, I found a nether portal thing. Please have something good. Please have something good. Please, please, please. Ah, lava. Nah. I'm taking it anyway. Ooh, it's an ugly savannah. Maybe we can find a savannah village there. No savannah village, but uh, oh, there are two crocodiles. I didn't know the cute mod that adds ferrets has crocodiles. Okay, I have to go to them just to see if they're hostile. I have a knife. Hi. Ah, ah. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, it's so scary. Hello? You're so cute! It's super scary, but it's friendly! Oh look, there's a village. Yeah, this is what I was looking for. And melons! <laughs> the red bed. <laughs> it's a grumpy strider. Yay, bread! And cabbage seeds. Yuck. Free stone cutter. Ooh, obsidian! More hay. Oh my gosh, those crops are so cute. Okay, this village had a lot of random stuff, including four grindstones. Why are they grinding so hard? I don't think I'm just gonna ride back home because it's time for me to grind too. Wait, I forgot how to get back home. Whoopsie. I eventually found my way back home on day 10. I think I'm gonna dig a hole for Kevin and then just trap him in here. It's for your own good, you keep running away. I still don't have all the resources I need for my farm build, but I think I'm gonna make a cozy little hut right here so I don't have an open storage mess and I'm safe from monsters. Also, I found this hedgehog in the wild. So adorable and it's running away. Living in my chest won't be that bad, I promise. And I think for that little starter hut, I'm gonna go and collect some wood from this forest. I want to use some oak wood for all my farm buildings too, so using it for my starter hut will be perfect. Oh, and before I forget, we gotta make this giant spruce tree. And while that is growing, I'm gonna start building up the foundations of this house. So basically we can just have this lovely tiny hut and then have like an entrance over here. And now we just gotta build up the walls. Yay, my tree grew! I'm totally freestyling this build, so hopefully it's gonna look good. So I built a cozy little cottage with oak walls and a lovely spruce roof. It's very simple, but it's cute. Now I just need to get some sands for cute windows. Let's make some nice white stained glass and then the glass panes and then put them all over those window holes. Why did I say window holes? That's so weird. And now I just gotta decorate those windows using stair slabs and fences. And now I just put a couple leaves on here and now it's perfect. I also put my crop field into a little enclosure. Also I can hide in here and only the ferret is looking out. And I put some floors and ceiling in and I added a cute little dock so we can sit out here and fish. And I crafted some really cool things that I'm gonna use throughout the entire video. We have some flower boxes and we can put two flowers in them. And then we have these window shutters so we can put them here and then open and close the window another cute thing we can craft is furniture i'm gonna put this in this house because that's cute and then we can put the bench right here so we can sit here and then we can fish and that's basically what i did i crafted a fishing rod and then just sat on my bench and fished first fish yay oh my gosh it's a bluegill this is peak farmer's life right here. Also, I just realized I killed a fish, so I already broke my no animal killing rule. Whoopsie. On day 14, I was fishing. Yeah, I think I got obsessed with fishing, just like I did when I started playing Stardew Valley. I was just fishing all day long. And I'm doing it in Minecraft too, because I'm not just picking up the normal fishing loot, I'm also getting modded fish stuff, like shrimp. And then of course it started raining and ruined my fishing experience. Okay, check out my fishing haul. We got shrimp and stingray and catfish and koi and goldfish. I feel so bad for those fish. But we got a saddle and we got a mending and unbreaking bow. I was actually hoping to get something like mending books or enchanted stuff from the fishing, but we can't just spend hours fishing. So I should stop avoiding getting diamonds because I'm definitely gonna need a diamond axe if I wanna chop down all those trees. So let's see what the weird little caves nearby have to offer. Oh, it's just water. <laughs> Ew, mine shaft. I mean, that can actually be good because that is gonna have lots of loot. Ah! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, no, 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 I fell down. Hello. I dropped from the sky to kill you all. There are so many monsters I wanna slay. Oh no, 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 no. Give me, give me, give me. <gasps> Diamond, yes, 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 yes. Oh my gosh, we got the skillet and stuff. Oh my gosh, okay, that was great. Now let's run away. Wait, there's this hole that goes all the way to Deep Slate Ow. Maybe, just maybe, we can find diamonds. This is just a scary way there's diamonds. I just walked past these diamonds like three times. Diamonds? Yes, please. Maybe we should try some water caving and look for ores down here where the mobs don't spawn. Wait, bad idea, I'm drowning. Wait, actually, good idea because there literally are four diamonds right here. There was literally eight diamonds in there, so now we have 11 in total. Let's go. On day 16, I was still lost in the caves trying to find my way back out. I actually went back into the mineshaft because those stupid cave spider spawners can't keep me away from finding good loot. However, they can keep me away from having a good night's sleep. I will see those crawly legs in my dreams. Ugh. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh look, we have a spawner again. Hello, 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 hello. Go away. Haha. -ha. Tomato seeds. Oh yeah. I just heard some cave spiders nearby, so I'm just gonna dig a staircase up from this spawner. 
On day 17, I finally emerged from the scary caves. Freedom! Creeper! No, that's scary. There's a creeper by my house. Ah, a spider by my house. Something just died by my house. Okay, close the door. That was scary. But hey, look at my great caving haul. This sheep is looking so terrified. It's like, oh, there's a creeper. Go away, go away, go away. You. I hate spiders. But now it's time for diamond stuff. I'm definitely gonna make a diamond axe. And I wanna enchant this, so we probably need a diamond pickaxe so we can get obsidian, unless this is enough. Wait, that's enough though. Oh my gosh. First time in Minecraft history that I don't need to make a diamond pickaxe to get an enchanting table. Also, I just realized my no animal killing rule cannot work if I wanna enchant my tools, because I literally need leather. And I don't want to spend like 20 Minecraft days hoping to fish up some leather. So yeah, just uh, close your eyes. Ew! That was such a gross thing! Uh -huh! That was instant karma! Close your eyes again. Karma again. No cows were harmed. I'm definitely not scared for life. And this is 100% organic tofu leather and you cannot convince me otherwise. But now we can craft some paper and then make a book. And then get our first enchanting table. Let's go. I want to put this in one of my builds. So I'm probably going to put this up on this hill. We just got to get rid of a couple layers of dirt. And flattening and terraforming this hill literally took ages because I was just using stone shovels. And I would just put the crafting table right here. And then we can build something cute around it. But first we we gotta build some bookshelves around it. And of course we definitely do not have enough bookshelves. So I'm just gonna take Kevin and go on another leather killing spree. I mean ethical tofu leather harvesting collection. <laughs> Many horrible moments later. All the cows in the area have mysteriously disappeared. So I'm gonna round up the last remaining ones that are still here near my base. And I'm just gonna build them a little pen and keep them in here. For now this is like a horrible small space for so many cows. But there will be a really big one later. You know, for the cows that aren't gonna turn to leather. I mean, nothing. I also played castaways with this spider and abandoned it on a tiny island because it was so gross. Wait, it actually has a cute face. Ah, look at me! <laughs> and while I was waiting for my cows to grow up for very innocent reasons, I was already planning my next project. Because right under where I want to put my enchanting table is my staircase to the skeleton spawner. So I'm quickly gonna turn this thing into a nice XP farm. So from day 21 to 23, I was grinding out my skeleton XP farm and dug a huge spawner room and I broke so many iron pickaxes, I'm not even kidding. And for some reason the ferret on my head turned into a bucket of fish. This is so cursed. And now we have a functioning skelly farm and can get tons of XP. I'm basically just gonna run back and forth between my skelly farm and the cow farm so I can get the remaining leather I need and also get to over 30 levels. I also repaired my mending bow a little bit so now I can shoot the skellies. Get wrecked. Okay, sword is actually faster. And I already have 31 levels and I'm only one bookshelf away from reaching 15. So now let's just add the bookshelves. And it's already looking so magical. And now let's see what we get on this axe. Efficiency 4. Yes, please. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Fortune 3 kind of bad, but the rest, it's perfect. It's perfect. And to celebrate our first time epic enchant, I'm gonna cut down the spruce tree so fast. I think now we're ready. I went back into the scary caves to look for one single piece of redstone. Yeah, I'm serious. Oh my gosh, the ferret on my head underwater. I found some. Oh my gosh, please don't drown. Please don't drown. And let's run away. And then we need to turn that redstone into a compass. And I basically installed a mod just for this one resource I need. Because I need to find a biome, so I'm making a nature's compass. And then we click on it, and then we can find the mangrove swamp. I spelled it wrong. And it's telling us where it is and where we have to go. I have to go like almost 4,000 blocks. So I'm gonna take Kevin. Let's go. We're going to the mangrove swamp. So I started adventuring and saw a ton of weird and cute things. Oh my gosh, also these fish. Can I take this? Oh my gosh, I have a bucket of koi. Oh my gosh, finally we can ride across flatland. The shrimp are swimming. <laughs> this is the most hilarious thing I've seen. When I fortune mine those leaves with my axe, will I get more saplings? Guess not. Ooh, that thing again. Hello. A king snake. I have a snake on my head. Gross. There's a spider next to me. Don't make any sudden movements. Is that an armadillo? Don't run away from me. Only 3,000 more blocks to go. Yay. There's a crab on the beach. Mine. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is actually a really cool looking village. Let's steal everything. What is that? I'm taking it. 
Compost. Ew, that is poo. The loot was so lame, but I stole all their hay. There's a baby crocodile in the tree. Wait, what is that? It's getting dark, but what is that? What is that? Give it to me! A hamster! Oh my gosh! I've got a tiny hamster. It's so cute. Also, only 1,500 blocks to go. When there's this giant wall of mountains in your way. And pour the loot. Knife. Kevin, come back here. I would never. <laughs> I've traveled too much, I need a break. Only 900 blocks to go, but there's just ocean. It looks like Kevin and my adventure has come to an end. So Kevin can go in this hole, and I will make a nice hay pillar so I can find him again. And now let's cross the ocean. Are there different fish? There's like a giant ray fish or whatever. Ooh, it's scary. Imagine we could ride those. That would be the best thing ever. Aw, there are seahorses. Hello, you cuties. That is scary. Is that a shark? Uh, I'm leaving. Oh my gosh, there's land, but no mangrove yet. I guess we gotta walk now. Oh my gosh, I can see it. It's the mangrove swamp. We did it. And now we can take those propagules. It fell in the cave. We're taking another one. And the reason why I wanted to have an enchanted diamond pickaxe for this journey is because I'm not just gonna take the saplings. I also wanna try to get as much of that beautiful wood as I can because it's so annoying to farm. And this biome is giant, so it can take a lot of wood. Okay, this place is actually so beautiful. What the heck? Also frogs. Now let the destroying begin. So far in this cozy animal farm video, I killed fish, I killed cows, I trapped my horse in a tiny space, and I completely destroy a mangrove swamp. Pro Minecraft. This place is very destroyed now, but it's all for cottagecore reasons, okay? Because all this wood is gonna look so pretty in my farm builds. Now I just gotta figure out how to get back home. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot about Kevin. I see the pillar! I'm coming, Kevin! Kevin, you won't believe the amazing things I saw. It was just a mangrove swamp. And now let's get out of here and ride towards happy farming days. I made it! Home sweet tiny house. And now we have access to all the materials we need for our beautiful farm builds. And I think I'm gonna start by making a beautiful build around this enchanting table. I'll be using a ton of wood for this project. Of course the mangrove, but of course also some oak for the walls. I hope three stacks will be enough. And I got a bunch of spruce too and I'm gonna craft it up into useful materials. And now that we have all of this great stuff, we can start building! I think we can just nicely wrap this build around the edges of the enchanting setup. Let's have some pillars out of oak at the bottom and then some stripped spruce above it. And that gives it a really nice texture. And then we just make the walls out of the oak planks and some oak logs that are stripped in between. And the first part is done. Now we just need to add a spruce trim at the top. Let's put a stair in here like this and one like this and then we just connect it with trapdoors and it looks really nice and curved. And now it is time for layer number two. I'm making a windmill by the way. And layer two is done. And the thing about windmills is that they get smaller and smaller towards the top. So we just gotta keep adding layers until it looks really cute. I'm gonna make like this tiny roof out of mangrove wood right here. And on top of this, let's add another building right here. But after adding that small building, it was already small enough, so I topped it off with a really cute mangrove roof. I really love how the build is looking so far. We just gotta add a bunch of decoration, and of course I'm gonna use the modded stuff again, like the window shutters and the flower bed. And I'm gonna pick a bunch of these cute flowers that are growing around here. Also, there's a rat thing. And now let's add all of these cute flowers. And next to the flowers, I think I'm also gonna put some leaves growing down all the way to the bottom. This build is looking really cute, but of course up there it's empty because I wanna put a windmill wheel on there. And for that, we're gonna need wool. Oh, hi sheep. Don't run away from me, sheep. Get sheared. Unlike the cows, the sheep are still everywhere in this area. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That was an accident. Also, I should set these poor cows free. We don't need leather anymore. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Those cows are scarred for life. But I have 36 wool, so that's gonna be enough. So let's build the windmill wheel. Building that windmill wheel really added to the build and made it look so beautiful. Also, taking down my dirt scaffolding by hand took longer than building the entire windmill wheel. 
And I have to do even more dirt scaffolding on the inside because I really want to decorate the ceiling here at the top. And now we have a beautiful lush ceiling, but this room down here is very simple and plain. I mean, it works in normal Minecraft, but we have a ton of decoration mods. Yeah, I couldn't help myself. I had to add them. You already know that we have cute chairs and tables. Oh, but there are so many more decoration thingies. So of course I'm going to decorate everything with this. I've never decorated with this mod before, so I'm going to use the enchanting room as my test room. So let's look for some magic related stuff. Ooh, I have a feeling I'm going to need leather again. I shouldn't have freed those cows. I mean nothing. Okay, the first thing we can make is this vial stand. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, now I need to travel really far so I can get this one fern to make this cauldron set. It would fit the enchanting room so well. I have to. No way, that spider is literally still abandoned on the island. If we're going another way, I'm scared. Oh, and while I'm out here, I can sacrifice these wild cows. Um, I mean, ooh, look, flowers. Yay. Oh my gosh, it's a little bunny. Look at this chunky little bunny. It's so adorable. Oh my gosh, it's not running away. Can I pick it up? No, I can't. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And they're not afraid of me. I love you forever, little bunny. Have a wonderful life. Now, where were those cows? Oh my gosh, village. Ah! Good that there was water. Okay, this is a long shot, but maybe the loot chests here have fern? Nope. Um... Okay, so this is where the villagers go to the toilet. Ugh. Okay, that village suck. Let's keep Ooh, snake looking for fern. Oh my gosh, there's a jungle. They have fern. Yes, they do. All this traveling for this one single fern. Just kidding, I'm gonna take some more in case I need more. Okay, let's get out of that scary jungle. Oh yeah, and I gathered a lot more leather. Teehee. Why did I say teehee? That's so weird. Uh, there's a butterfly in my house. Hello. And now we just gotta dye a sheep red. Oh my god, it looks so stupid. I'm so sorry. And now we can craft this cauldron set and this poster. Did I just waste iron on a poster? Yes. Yes, I did. I crafted some more stuff, so now let's decorate this place. How about a little table here and a chair? And then we can put the cauldron set on top. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's so detailed. And then we can put the drying herbs here on the wall. It's so good. And then poster on the wall. Books here and the potion vials up here. And then we can just add our regular vanilla stuff, the chest with the lapis and the grindstone up here. I also want to release a butterfly in here because cute. It's so magical when it just flies around here. And now that we have a windmill, I definitely want to start being a farmer and planting some crops. Because if I want to give cute animals a home, they need a lot of food. But I also want my base to look pretty, so I really want to plan where all my builds are gonna go. And then I can plant crops in between. And on day 43, I put my planning hat on, which was a ferret, and started planning the layouts of all my builds. The best way to figure out where your builds are gonna go is to place cobblestone everywhere or make basic squares so you sort of know the area that's gonna be taken up by builds or decoration. But I didn't have enough cobblestone, so I just connected it all with a path. Oh my gosh, the rainbow and the windmill, this is so precious. And now I know where exactly my builds are gonna go. And of course, while I planned this, I already came up with ideas for what kinds of builds are gonna go there. In the one on the left, we're gonna have a cow sheep kind of area. Then on the right, we're gonna have the chimkins. At the bottom, I wanna do something with ducks. And the tiny plot at the top is gonna be my swag starter house. Also, I just realized I put the cow area exactly where the cow torture pen was. I swear that was unintentional. I've kind of built all this stuff really close together, so there isn't really a lot of space for farmland. But these dirt layers next to the windmill make excellent farmland, I think. So let the farming begin. So let's first pour down some water to get rid of all the grass. And then we can start adding water sources everywhere. And I also want to walk up and down this farm without breaking crops. So we're going to add slabs to like the beginning of every single layer. So we could just walk up and there's no trampling. Unless I want there to be trampling. <laughs> and done. I think these are all the layers I want to use. And I have some slabs left over. So I'm going to start working on a path leading up to the windmill. I lined up the path with the crop field and put a leaf border in between to separate them. But now we can turn all of this grass into farmland. And of course, while I was peacefully making my farmland, I got brutally ambushed. First I did a pro farmer move and basically just ignored them and continued farming until they got really violent and literally chased me off my crop field. How dare those pillagers. It's time to retaliate. Oh pillagers. Where did they go? They despawned. Cowards. Now the entire area is tilled. I just googled that word, I'm so smart. And now I just gotta sow the crops. I also googled that word. I'm gonna be the smartest farmer ever. I'm out of seeds. 
I just broke all the grass in the area, literally all of it. So now I hopefully have enough seeds to finish off this crop field. Not even close. I guess we're just gonna have to wait for all the crops to grow so we can expand the farm. And having to wait for that gives me the perfect opportunity to start another grindy project. Because after putting all these layers down, I realized this area is a mess and needs to be terraformed. So having an efficiency diamond shovel would be awesome. And it's literally just gonna cost us one diamond. And we got to do some grinding in the skeleton XP farm, but luckily I'm almost at 30 levels, so this should hopefully be quick. One day later. Just kidding, it only took like one minute. I'm so happy we get to use the enchanting room again now that it's decorated. And let's hope for something good. Ah, no. Let's just enchant this knife with like a one level enchant. And let's see what we get now. Oh, still. Let's enchant my chest plate. Yay. I'm breaking three. Okay, that could be good. But unfortunately, now I need to grind more levels. Stabby, stabby, stab. I have a knife. I have a knife. <laughs> At 30 levels, let's try this again. Please, 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 please. Yes! Oh my gosh. We even have silk touch, which is perfect for getting gravel. Now we can do right by those poor cows and make all of the animals a home. And today the great landscaping project begins, which means flattening the ground so I can build beautiful houses on top. I'm basically bringing everything down by a whole layer. Also, there's this weird plus sign here. It's a cave. Gross. A lot of aggressive dirt breaking later. And now we have this really flat area and I made sure our crop field can be expanded on these two levels too. Also, I planted a tree. Say it's pretty. And I also have this whole chest full of grass and dirt. But we're gonna need all of that for the next transformation of this land because for this area it's just... Ugh. 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 No. So we have to fill in all those holes and add a couple layers. And my landscaping project was still happening on day 50. But we're halfway to 100 days, which is really amazing. And we've already done so much, but there's still so much to do. So I better speed up my terraforming. On day 51, I was literally still working on the landscaping, but I'm very close to being done. All I have left to do is to make the transition from one layer to the other really nice and smooth, make it curved. And I gotta get rid of all the stone here and replace it with dirt. But now it's done. I missed the spot. Okay, now it's done. Okay, check this out though. This is what it looked like before. And this is what it looks like after. It was so much work. My shovel is down half its durability. But it was so worth it because now we can start building. And I don't know why, but I really want to start with the chimkins. I want to make them the most beautiful chicken coop they've ever seen. So I spent the rest of the day trying to get as many resources as I can. And on day 52, I was crafting up all the materials. I just ran out of sticks and realized I should just place some of the bamboo that I found in the jungle because easy sticks. And now it's time to start building. This giant layout is where I want my chickens to live, but I'm not gonna turn the whole thing into a building. I'm gonna put a coop like maybe right around here. And the rest is gonna be where the chickens can run around and have fun and pee and poo. Why did I say that? This is the size of the coop and now we just gotta bring up a ton of stripped spruce pillars. I should have brought a water bucket. Ow. Chicken coops are always on some sort of stilt, so we're gonna make them three blocks high and then start the floor here. I also made this tiny baby staircase so we can walk up to the chicken coop and I think the chickens will be able to do this too, right? I think we also need some decorating between the stilts, like something connecting them to each other. I came up with this cross pattern on every single side and I think it's looking really nice. Wait, wait, I trapped myself in here. Hello? There's no way out. Wait, wait, squeeze from Minecraft. And now we just need to build the coop on top, so we're gonna start with some barrels. And then more spruce pillars on top. And you already know what the walls are gonna look like, stripped oak and oak planks. I kinda like how I did these tiny trapdoor windows, they're really cute. Now we just gotta put a roof on this thing. And of course we have to fill this in with mangrove slabs and stairs. It's like the iconic roof color for all my builds. Except this one because I didn't have mangrove yet. Don't look at that build. And roof done and it's so pretty. Now we just gotta decorate this build. So of course I'm gonna add those cute flower boxes. And I'm also gonna spam leaves everywhere. I also wanna make a chimney so I'm gonna collect some clay. And let's smelt those. And while that is melting I'm gonna enjoy some nice fishing. And then we can just put the chimney right here. Ow, ow, ow. I did it and totally didn't burn myself. Also, all my crops have grown. So before we continue with the chicken coop, I'm just gonna harvest all of this. I probably shouldn't have done this with a full inventory. Oh my gosh, there's already a chicken! It's gonna move into my chicken coop. I can feel it. 
And now it's planted everywhere, but we might expand it down here later. But speaking of expanding, I think I want to attach an extra building to this chicken coop. Because I'm thinking the chickens might need a bit more space or we could even store their food there. And good that I just harvested my crops because now we can turn it into hay bales. And then we can just actually store it all in here. And I just realized I have this cool texture pack we can use. We just have to make a note block. I saw Blockdown use this in a single player world and I just love it. So we just put this down and then we play a song and we get cool stuff. Yay! Look at this, we have carrots in a barrel. So now we have a shed for chicken food. Now we just need the chicken beds. Oh, hello. He's going to the food! No! I think chickens like to sleep a bit elevated. So I'm gonna put this here so they can sit on here and lay eggs and sleep and stuff. What do chickens do? And I also continue the chimney too down here and I'm gonna put a little fire here so the chickens always have it warm. That is loud. Be right back installing a quiet campfire mod. Much better. I also put a bench and a little table here. But I want to craft another very important thing for a chicken coop. Because there's this picnic basket and it would look perfect as a basket for collecting eggs. We just gotta die and shear some unsuspecting sheep. Oh no. I mean it's actually kind of a cool haircut, not gonna lie. This looks like the Minecraft turtle egg. Sheep edition. And bamboo. And basket. And boop. Isn't this adorable? Look at this little tiny baby basket. Now we're almost ready for the chickens to move in. We just need to turn this into an actual enclosure. So they don't escape and get eaten by monsters. Why Minecraft? Why make it rain? Let's just build the fence and bring it all the way around. Yay, rainbow! And then we just put a gate here and the fence is done. Now we just gotta find some chickens. We just need to bring some seeds. And then I'm just gonna look around my area and hopefully I can find a lot of different unique chicken colors. Oh, and we need a rooster. Oh, chicken! Hello! That is like the one I really wanted. The one that looks like a chessboard. Chicken edition. Come on, little chimkin. And in you go! Okay, chicken number one is in the enclosure. Oh my gosh, it's a blue chicken! Stardew Valley dreams accomplished. And now that we have two chickens, we can breed them. And... Chicken baby! Oh my gosh, it's so tiny, it's so cute! Oh my gosh, I love it so much. And now I really need to find a rooster. I just found this random goose. I mean, we can take it with us, right? It won't hurt us, right? <laughs> Wait, are you kidding? There's been a rooster next to my base like the entire time. The chickens are struggling and the goose is just floating. Look at all those farm animals following me. This is so beautiful. Also, I picked up another goose. And now we have a bunch of chickens and we can breed them and get more. And we have two geese that have to share with the chickens. I'm not sure if the chickens are gonna like that. And we've already collected so many eggs. So later when we can get cows, we can bake a cake. Yay! This is what it's been all about. I just want to have cake. Also, this chicken coop area is still looking very plain, especially this area. So we gotta decorate it and make it beautiful beautiful for the chickens and the geese. I think first of all they gotta have an outdoor feeding area. I mean chickens don't actually eat hay bales. I think that's more for cows, sheep and horses. I mean worst case scenario they can use this as a toilet. And we can actually put something they eat in there. Those note block thingies. Oh that's cold. They don't eat that. Ugh. Okay, I'm leaving apples. I think they like apples. We have carrots too now. It's perfect. Oh, and they probably should have some water too, right? I'm terrible at taking care of animals. We have food and water. I think now what we need is decoration. And since I'm really terrible at custom trees, I'm gonna try to make a small cute one. This is gonna go so wrong. Maybe a couple fences here and there. I've now decided stairs belong in a tree. And now we just spam leaves everywhere. First I hated how this looks, then I was like, meh, and now I'm kind of like, mm-hmm, kind of works. It's fine, I'm gonna put a bench here to distract from this view. And the big thing this place now needs is a path, a lot of path. But it's so plain looking, so we gotta get some coarse dirt. Time to steal all that gravel from the riverbed. And now we're just gonna line up the path with a bit of coarse dirt here and there and just have a couple patches. This is honestly gonna make such a big difference. And then just a couple sunflowers and some grass patches here and there. And perfect. We have such a cute area for our chickens now. Now we still have cow, sheeps and ducks and my own house, but I literally cannot decide what to build next. Okay, maybe the answer is right behind me. <laughs> Look at this cow. This cow is telling me what to do. Thanks cow. I was procrastinating on this for a whole real life day. So back to the tree chopping. We go 
I also just found these really cute chickens in the wild, so I have to bring them home. I'm going through my mangrove supplies so fast, but I think we can actually have enough for all the builds without having to farm more. Because I don't want to farm mangrove trees. Uh-uh. And I think for the cows and sheep, it will be fitting to have a big barn for them. I think this is going to be big enough. Now we'll just do our nice oak walls again. And now we just got to break a couple blocks and then we can replace it with the stripped oak logs. And I thought why not have a whole bunch of windows so it's not dark and gloomy inside, like in real life barns. I just need to finish up the rest of the walls and then we can decorate it. And I kind of got carried away and already started working on the shape for the roof. So later I don't have to fill in the wall when I make it, because I always forget. And wall number three done. And for the front here, I think I'm gonna make a really big entrance. I wanna have like the classic door shape, having an arch out of stairs and then some trapdoors going down the sides. But I also want to have a big barn door here. I want to make a bunch of these spruce shutters. And I'm wondering if I could make a functioning door out of this. Okay, now it just moves on the side. What if we put it on here? And then we can open and close it. I kind of want this to be bigger though, but then the door doesn't work anymore because we can't close it like this. We tried though, and this is looking nice. I just realized I haven't made any windows yet, so I'm just gonna get the sand in the dark. I'm scared. And on day 65, I added lots of white stained glass paint to all the windows, and then I started decorating the windows by adding a trim of slabs and trapdoors on top, and then of course I had to add my flower boxes. I love them so much. I wish I had a ton of different flowers, but the only ones I have a lot of are the yellow ones, but they look so pretty, so I'm happy. And of course the decoration isn't complete without having to add tons of window shutters. And now we have beautifully decorated windows on every single side. And now we just need leaves and lanterns. I'm definitely running out of iron fast here. Ooh, a creeper just spawned. No. Go away creeper. No. Leave my farm animals alone. Go away. Got him. And that's exactly why I need to use all my iron on lanterns. Creepers are banned from my farm now. But hey, the barn is looking really pretty now with all the leaves. I did leave this spot open because I want to expand this barn and have like an open stable kind of roof thing. So the animals can stand under it when it rains or something. And it does rain a lot in this world. We'll just connect these pillars using stairs and trapdoors. And then we have really cute arches. Yeah, that's looking very pretty. And I think I'm going to have thinner pillars at the front. So we're going to have walls and then we have fences on top. And then we just gotta slap a nice big mangrove roof on top. I replaced the top fence with a stair. I don't know if this is gonna look good, especially from this angle. But we just gotta have to trust the process. I think it's actually looking okay. We also have to add some fence gates back here as decoration and also so the animals won't just walk out of here. I think it's gonna look much better once the roof is on top of this. So what are we waiting for? So I started working on the roof with a spruce trim and of course the mangrove in the middle. And once that was done, the build felt so complete and I really, really love it. I mean, this is so beautiful already. Now we'll just do the same thing as for the chicken coop. We're gonna do a nice big enclosure around it. I just saw a chicken that I really, really wanna have. I'm getting so distracted, but I need this chicken. It's so adorable. Come here, chicken, chicken, chicken. Wait, how are there three geese now? They are taking over chickens. You need to be careful. Also, the rooster has been chilling indoors the entire time. You're reminded to go touch grass today. But now back to the barn because we gotta decorate this place here too. Let's just put a water trough right here in the middle. And water. I mean, that works, right? And I also want to do like an animal feeding area like I did with the chickens. With this little overhang. But this time the cow and sheep are actually gonna eat the hay. I mean, they're not really eating the hay, but they would eat the hay if they could eat the hay. Being a farmer is so confusing. And then of course I have to make a really organic path with a lot of coarse dirt in between. And grass and flowers everywhere. Day 69. Nice. And guess who decided to visit me while I was making a path? I'm so angry with this guy because he keeps spawning in my other worlds like every 20 minutes. And in this world where I really, really wanted llamas and leads, he took 69 days to show up idiot and i don't want those llamas to be angry with me so i'm gonna place a boat here and then steal the leads like that and now i have leads and the llamas are safe in there too and this guy with his weird traits he can just like get lost bye he doesn't want to leave i mean if you want to stay you can always clean out the chicken coop i knew that would make him leave but hey now we have leads and my cow and sheep pen is already so decorated you know, I just realized the chickens actually have more space and they're tiny. This is fine. Also, I forgot to do the interior. Five minutes later, I basically filled in the ceiling with spruce. I made a very simple floor here and added tons of food for the animals. And the windows do make the inside look brighter, but it's still way too dark in there, so we need to get tons of lanterns. Oh my gosh, I just saw there's a service bell. No, I cannot waste my iron on that. I cannot. Oh, but I probably will in the future. No, I have to do it now. Where is it? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. 
I'm so annoying. And let's put the lanterns everywhere. Yeah, now it's the perfect brightness in here. And before I get some cows in here, I want to decorate this even more. I don't want to overdo it with the decorating, but I just found some really cool stuff that I really want to try out. I want to make this a planned ladder. Let's put it by the door. Yes, this is so good. I just found out there's food and stuff, so we need to make a plate. And then we can make the croissant. Oh my gosh, it's so cute in my hand. I wish I could like actually eat this. I don't know why this would belong in a cow pen, but we need to get chairs and tables now. Okay, so imagine instead of eating breakfast in your own house all alone, you can have a chair and table here in the cow barn and then you can eat your breakfast here. It would be bad with all the sheep and cow stench, but you can smell a Minecraft, so you can actually do this. But now we actually need to look for some cows and sheep. I'm so happy that we have leads now. This is gonna be so easy. Yeah, look at this. Oops. I hurt my animals. You didn't see that. But this guy here saw it. He's the witness. He has to go. Yeah, run for your life because I'm coming for you. Just kidding. I think I'm gonna try to get one more cow, one more sheep. Otherwise, this place would get way too crowded. And sheep number two in here. Now we have two cute variants. And I think I wanna get a brown cow in there. And in you go. Look at all those adorable animals we have living here now. And I know both of these cows were born in the leather pen. So I guess we're gonna try to make up for past crimes and try to give them a very beautiful life in this area now. I'm also gonna put the bell here so we can be really annoying. They hate it. Also, there are tons of grasshoppers spawning in my barn. Oh, there's another one. It's an invasion. I literally caught four of them in the barn. I'm gonna release them here in the flower forest so they can just live happily here and never come back. But this area is already coming together nicely. We have the chicken coop, the windmill, and the cow barn. And I'm still living in that fishing shack over there. And poor Kevin is still living in this hole. So now I finally want to make a better home for both of us. And it's gonna go right here. Also, this guy is still here. Please go away. And having this build is gonna unlock so many cool things because I wanna have cooking stuff in there and try out some new mods that I have. And of course, spam all the decoration mods everywhere. This is gonna be my house in here. And then Kevin's home is gonna be right here. And there's so much space here in the front so we can do tons of farming. I was so excited to try out all these new things. So I started building my house right away. Well, until I ran out of blocks. I'm constantly running out of oak wood, but instead of going to the normal forest like I usually do, I'm gonna go to this flower forest and steal all the trees. But that's also the perfect opportunity to get tons of these beautiful flowers. Look at those. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. And those are so beautiful. I want them all. Oh yeah, we gotta collect the wood too. Oh my gosh, look at this. There's a muddy pig. Look, it's full of mud. That is so cute. Oh my gosh, it's following me because I have a carrot. You're so cute. I wish I had time to make a home for you too. This used to be a flower forest. Now it's a flower meadow. And those guys have already claimed it. Okay, bye. Oh my gosh, a ladybug spawned in my base. That is so cute. And now we can finish up our farmhouse. Wait, my llamas just despawned. Do they have to be tamed even in the boat? No. I guess no llamas on our farm. Sad times. I always just make these square boxes for my house. So I'm gonna mix things up and bring this wall out by one. So we can have a cute little window right here. I used most of the wood to finish up my walls. But luckily I still have a ton left to finish Kevin's stable. I got really excited and started looking up all the decoration stuff I can use later. And I literally found out that there are bicycles. I want to have one. Like, I want to have one so bad. But first, we need to finish up this house. And when I finish it, I'll reward myself with a bicycle. And on day 75, I had all my resources ready so I could continue building the house. And of course, the next big thing I had to do was work on the roof. So I started with a nice mangrove trim. This time, I didn't want to use a spruce trim and just want to have the roof all mangrove. And once the roof shape was looking nice, I filled in the rest with more mangrove. Okay, look at this nice red mangrove roof. I love this color so much. This part here is looking very plain though. So I'm gonna put another roof window on top of this. Okay, that is much better. But before I throw myself at all the decorating like I've done up there, we really gotta put a roof on Kevin's stable. We've neglected him far too long, so we can neglect his stable too. It's done and I spam leaves up and down the roof. I mean, on the inside, it has a nice nature effect. I'm just gonna decorate this a little bit more and then it will be ready for Kevin. He's gonna get a nice coarse dirt floor and of course, tons of food and water. Oh, Kevin, you'll finally be free from this horrible hole if you can get out. Come on, come on, Kevin. Yay, we did it. And now we can ride through here. Okay, we can. I messed it up. No, one second, Kevin. 
Okay, now if we ride through here, he should be fine in there and he shouldn't be able to escape. Look at him, he finally lives in a house and not in a hall. Well, I can't say that about myself because this is like a hall. But this is gonna be a grand farmhouse. We just gotta decorate the whole thing. So I dedicated the entire day 77 to decorating the outside of the house. I added tons of windows and tons of decoration to those windows. And of course, it's always the leaves and lanterns everywhere. Double L, but not the bad L. It's a W, okay? Yeah, I don't know where my brain just went. I think this side here is my favorite because it's so overgrown. And I saved all my favorite flowers so I could add them to this house. And I think these ones here are the best for this build. This is so beautiful. But I tried out the other colors on the other side. So here we have the pink. And then back here we have blue and purple. Oh, look who's back. Now I can take his llamas again. And this time I'm going to tame them because I think if they're tamed, they're not going to despawn. Please love me, llamas. Please. This one hates me so bad. Please. Yay, friends. And now that they're tamed, I think we can let them roam free. Also, I just saw this guy. I don't think so. I think we're just gonna go to bed. Because tomorrow we got lots of work to do. Wait, tomorrow is today now. We're just gonna carefully sneak past this guy and run into the house. Because today we need to work on the layout for the house. So I think I'm gonna separate the rooms into maybe four. I mean, this is just gonna be the entrance. So we have three whole rooms to work with. And since we don't need to go to the toilet in Minecraft, we can have a kitchen, a living room and a bedroom. So first I'm just gonna put a nice spruce ceiling up here. I can't work with all the humming and grunting out there. Can you guys please be quiet? Also, why are they not killing each other? I don't want to know. I just don't want to know. And now I just need to connect the walls to the ceiling. I said be quiet. They are so annoying. Ah! They came in my house! No, 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 no. Uh-uh. No, this is my house. Ah! No! No, 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 no. Go and kill the traitor, not me. Wait, I just heard them trample my crops. Oh my gosh. Did you just trample my crops? Oh my gosh. You messed with the wrong farmer. Pillager! Get wrecked! Nobody tramples my crops. Are they still in my house? No, they are! You know what? I'm just gonna put hay here. I guess this room is off limits. I hope they despawn. Now we just gotta replace all of this grass with a lovely floor. And I'm thinking spruce wood for the kitchen here. And I think I wanna use stone bricks for the other two rooms. Which means I have to go mine tons of stone from the mine. So I'm just gonna take off the top block of my staircase. So I no longer bump into it when I go down. It's like a win-win. And then I'm gonna smelt it all into stone. And while that is smelting, I'm literally just gonna go caving and look for iron. Because there's bicycle stuff in my near future. So it's iron time. Ooh, geode. Okay, maybe we can get a couple crystals. Hello? We have silk touch on the shovel, so does it work? Yay, it does! Crystals! And now more iron. Also, I just found glow squids, so I'm just gonna kill them. That sounded so mean. I'm so sorry, glow squids. On day 80, I came home with almost a stack of iron and tons of coal and other cute stuff. And most of the stone is already smelted. Perfect. I'm gonna make a second furnace too, and then put all my iron in there, because bicycle. And then we just throw the stone into the stone cutter and get the bricks. Also, let's see if the pillagers are still in there. Hello? Oh my gosh, they left. I'm so glad. Okay, now we can put a floor in here too. Oh my gosh, are we gonna have enough? Yes! Now the house is really done. We just have the decorating part to do, which means it's bicycle time. So now let's make a cute blue bicycle. Now we just have a blue bicycle, but when we add a flower to it, we have a cute blue bicycle. Look at it, I'm holding it. Let's put this right here. This is so good. I wish I could sit on this. Wait, I jumped into it. I'm in the bicycle. <laughs> this looks so cursed. But hey, we have a bicycle with a little basket. Why is it always raining when I want to do something fun? I wanted to use my glowing sack to make a little sign for Kevin. And glowing. I know he loves it. And now it's decorating time. I'm basically just going to look through the whole mod catalog and choose what furniture I want in my house. Oh my gosh, they have kitchen stuff. I want, I need right now. So let the crafting begin. And on day 81, I was still crafting tons of decoration stuff. I also need a ton of wool for curtains and sofas and carpets and stuff. So we have a lot of shearing ahead of us. I made a pea sheep. No regrets. I think I'm just gonna temporarily move all of these sheep into this pen. It might be a bit crowded, but that way I can get so much wool fast. 
I crafted up so much random decoration stuff, but I think now we're ready to at least make a start on the kitchen. It's not a lot of space, but it hopefully will be enough for all these kitchen counters and stuff. I made this cooking set that you can put on top. It's so detailed. And the coolest thing, we can use those counters. We can put stuff in here. I also put up a table and a couple shelves and this beautiful flower garland. And I love that I can see Kevin through the window in a stable. We can have breakfast together without me having to smell the horse. I also made this, which looks so beautiful, but I left this open because I want to have a kitchen sink and maybe a fridge. Another long crafting session later. I just made a bunch more stuff, but forgot to make the fridge. So we're making it now. Good that we might iron. I also really want to have this really cute cute kitchen sink but we need pink planks and that's not cherry blossom wood that is a pink log and you just make it with oak and pink dye okay we can do it for the kitchen sink and pink log then pink planks and cute kitchen sink and now we can add this and the fridge and now the kitchen is perfect we just need to decorate it even more I'm addicted to this mod now. Also, look at those curtains. We can put them up like this and then you can open and close them. Like you can actually open and close them. That's a completely different mod, which I'm also addicted to. Also, I started on the living room. So far, we have a couch and some bookshelves. We have this antique table and I swear it's from Animal Crossing. And then in here, I want to do the bedroom. So we're going to have a nice big cabinet, big bed. Oh, I wish you could actually sleep in it, but you can jump on it and be really annoying. The room is so beautiful already, but I need more. I also realized all of my rooms do not have any doors. Whoopsie. It's fixed now. I also made a key so we can literally have a house key. Whoops. I decorated so much. It's now dark outside. Time to sleep in my new bedroom. I'm gonna place this small bed next to this and then sleep in there. But hey, look how cute this room is. I even got a Polaroid camera and put all the pictures up here. And this room is full of messy stuff. And I put the key on the table because I love the key. One thing all of these rooms are missing are carpets and some paintings on the wall. So I got myself some paintings and some modded blocks that I can use for a carpet. So let's remove the floor here. And then we can put this yellow checkered block here. Oh my gosh, now this kitchen looks so tacky and I'm so here for it. And then definitely another carpet here in the living room. This time it's gonna be a blue one. Ooh, I like that. Also, I put so much random stuff here. So now we have like a sewing area. And I'm also gonna put up some really cute paintings. If I could get the cute paintings. Okay, that was a frog. Okay, this is the perfect farm vibes. It just fell off. Okay, apparently this cannot go there. Ah, what the heck? What the heck is that? I don't want to see this when I go to bed. No! 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 No, 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 no! That was weird. Also sunflower painting. Also horse painting above Kevin's window. Also, we now have a frog crafting shrine here. Do not question it, ever. But I think now we're actually done. We have a bedroom, a living room, an entrance area, and a beautiful kitchen. And you know what we don't have? We do not have a storage or smelting room or anything that would be useful in Minecraft survival. This entire house is like my peak decoration era. I guess we'll still have to use the shack for storage pro Minecraft. But hey, now we can finally plant some crops in front of my house. And I'm thinking I should use this area right here. Here. We only have these crops over there, but we found so many modded ones when we traveled. If I could find them in this mess. We have cabbage, tomatoes, and onions for the modded ones, and then beetroot and melons for the normal vanilla ones. So we can definitely do a nice big crop field here. I think we'll just hide some water here and there. And then we'll do nice long rows of crops. So it's basically a really long line of field. So we could walk in between them and tend to our crops. And then we can start adding all these crops. Okay, it's all planted out. Oh my gosh, it's a little flower. And I just want to line this up with a couple fences and a couple leaves to make it harder for the mobs to get me. And of course, so it looks pretty. And while I made this nice fenced off area and this little water hole for an infinite water source, all my crops have started growing. Is this our first tomato harvest? Yay! We got tomatoes! And we can just turn them into more tomato seeds so we can plant more. Also the melons. Look at the tiny baby melons. They're growing already! I've also started working on a path to my house into this field. And then I realized that's what's been missing in this area. So we got a lot of work to do tomorrow. So on day 88, I got my stone shovel because I didn't want to break my diamond one for making a path and started connecting up all my builds together. 
That shovel broke so fast. Oh, it's raining. I'm path making in the rain. I also made some spruce slabs so we can have some steps to go up and down the path. And now we have my fishing shack linked up with the path to the chicken coop and then to the cow pen and then to my house. That actually wasn't that hard. I don't know why I put it off for like almost 90 days. I was lazy, okay? And of course, this still looks kind of ugly. So we got to get more coarse dirt. So back to the ocean it is. But this time I brought a door so we can stand under here. So we don't drown and can mine gravel really fast fast because underwater you're mining really slow doors for the win this should be enough right and we can basically double that amount because coarse dirt is so much yes Ugh, it's dark no nighttime really just killed my vibe but no scary monsters are gonna kill my vibe today because there's a rainbow and i'm gonna place coarse dirt everywhere i just hope my shovel won't break and after placing stacks after stacks of coarse dirt, the path actually looked really nice. Yeah, look at this. It's much more detailed now. Also, it's crop harvesting time. Look at all the tomatoes. Wait, I just got rotten tomatoes. Wait, can we throw them at the bell? Oops, I threw them at the sheep. I'm so sorry. Does it work with the bell though? No, it doesn't. Sadness. Also, the melons are so beautiful. Today is day 90, which means we only have 10 days left to make this farm. And there are still so many things I want to do. But most importantly, I completely forgot that I still have a whole build to make. My duck enclosure. So before we run out of time, let's just get started on this because this is going to be a really big project. First up, we got to dig a big hole with multiple layers going down here because I want to turn this into a lake because ducks need water. Okay, this is really big, but it fills out the area nicely. And it's gonna be so beautiful to have a lake nearby. And then we'll just have to turn this entire thing into water. I love that at some point the water will just start spreading on its own. It's so satisfying. Yes, here we go. So satisfying. I mean, we could also turn this into my own personal swimming pool, but that isn't very farm core, is it? And I still have to make up for being so horrible to animals in this video. So I need to make a beautiful sanctuary for ducks. So let's get a ton of stone and I got some mossy cobblestone from the skeleton spawner. So we could basically decorate the shore with a bunch of different kinds of stone materials and on day 91 i did just that and it looked even better than i imagined but i actually think we can upgrade this even more with a couple slabs on walls so let's craft those real quick and then we just add all of these to the shore make some little rocks here and there and how about a couple lanterns and these beautiful flower bushes everywhere okay maybe not everywhere because i only have two left me running through the flower forest searching for those flowers. Yes, I found them. I'm gonna take all of them. It's so worth it for those beautiful flowers on my little lake. And it's looking so beautiful already. But so far we've only decorated outside the water, not inside. So I got some bone meal so we could plant some of this seagrass under here. And of course we found the lily pads in the swamp so we could add tons of them. Oh, look how cute they are. Just a couple here and there like this should be perfect so the ducks can still swim around here. But I just had another cute idea for this duck enclosure. So why don't we make a cozy dog so we can access this pond and sit there and chill and watch the ducks. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. And of course, we gotta do the chair. And then we can just chill on here. I still need to build them a house because they gotta sleep somewhere. But now I really, really wanna get some ducks already. I think the ducks will spawn near the water. So we're just gonna look for them by the river. 10 years later, not really. Oh my gosh, duck, duck. It's so cute. It's so precious. It's so beautiful. It hates me and runs away. Look at the ducks swim. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, it's so cute and precious. Look at this, chickens. We got a duck. Ah, cave. And here we go. Enjoy your new home in the pond. Oh my gosh, he fits right in. This is so adorable. I hope you won't escape because there's literally no enclosure around this. Please do not escape. I beg you. I can see it in his eyes. He wants to run. But instead, I'm just running away because I want to find him a friend. Another 10 years later. For real this time just kidding wait that's a duck right yeah that's the other version don't run away from me come back no there you are you're so cute you're gonna come with me and be my friend forever i just had a funny idea instead of pulling the animals behind me on land we can just swim with them Whee! look at this let's go life is good i just went into a wall whoops I'm not falling in the cave this time, chickens. Oh, look, they're all following me. Oh my gosh, look at them. Oh, I have to see, that's why. Wait, where's my duck? Hello? Oh, it's over there. It's hiding. Why are you hiding? Oh my gosh, they're so cute together. With these ducks, we can actually test if the animals hate me or not, because if they run away, they hate me. If they stay, they love me forever. <laughs> that just plopped out an egg. 
That was so good. Also, I don't know if these animals will stay either, but I want to release a butterfly and a dragonfly here. It's so fitting to have a dragonfly by the water. And before the ducks run away, I think we got to build them a lovely little house here so they can sleep here and so I can lock them in there at night. I mean, nothing. And I don't think we actually have to gather resources for that. We just have to craft up all the wood we already have. But on day 95, I had all the resources ready so I could start building the house. So first I made the walls of this teeny tiny little hut it's actually not gonna be that big because I don't think ducks spend a lot of time indoors. I think they're more like outdoor animals that sleep next to the pond. Or maybe they even sleep in the pond while swimming. I have no idea. But when it rains or thunders, those ducks will be safe in that house. And now we just gotta decorate this beautiful house by adding a couple flowers to it. Also, my duck is running away really far. I guess it's about time I'll show them the new house. This is where you're gonna live. Yes, some water and some hay. And I can open this and then they can walk out of here if they would do it. Yay, she's doing it. But now we also gotta decorate this area. So I'm gonna make a path and link it up to maybe a path going around here so we can connect it to this one. And then we can actually have a cozy walkway all around the lake. Oh, the ducks really wanna go outside. I won't let them though. Teehee. And having this really decorated path made me realize all of this path isn't very decorated. So I'm gonna spend today placing a couple of fences here and there, or maybe having a couple of leaves behind it. And then of course adding grass on top of the coarse dirt here and there. And hopefully that will really improve how this area is looking. I'm halfway done and this is already looking so detailed. But this land is very flat because I destroyed everything and made everything flat. So I'm gonna get my oak saplings. And I'm just gonna add a couple of trees here and there to the side. There's just something about these basic Minecraft oak trees that I love so much. Oops, I accidentally planted this monstrosity behind my crop field. Let's just ignore that. I also wanted to plant trees here, but then I realized I completely forgot to link up my windmill path. I knew I was forgetting something. So we'll just connect the path from over here. And then we could just make it go all the way through here. A few minutes of path making later. And this is looking much, much better now. But another thing that I forgot is that I always wanted to expand this field to these two layers here. But hey, I remembered now. We just gotta hurry up and do this really fast and probably pull an all-nighter. There are so many monsters in my field. I'm so scared to go there. Ah, no! Ah, no! Whoops. Got him. Oh, my sword broke. Anyway, let's harvest all these seeds and then we can replant them down there. Um, so a creeper just ah, blew up my field and there's a zombie. I hate everything about this. I survived the night, but I still have so many crops to plant because I was too scared to do it at night and just slept. I was scared. Okay, I did it. All the crops are planted. We have a huge crop field now. But I didn't realize it's already day 99, so I want to prepare something special that we can do on day 100. And for that, we got to collect a bunch of pink wool because I want to craft this checkered pink wallpaper. But I'm not gonna use it as a wallpaper. I'm also gonna craft a bunch more decorational blocks. The addiction starts again. And I got it all done right in time for day 100. We did it, we're 100 days into this world. And we've built up such a cute farm for all my animals. So to celebrate that, I'm gonna make a beautiful picnic today. And I'm gonna use all these things I crafted. I think we're gonna put it right here. This is actually a wallpaper, but it's gonna be a picnic blanket now. It's too adorable to not be a picnic blanket. And then on here, we're gonna put a plant jar, a full picnic basket. It has apples inside. Then some glass jars, maybe for some drinks and some sliced bread and a cinnamon bun. And of course the croissant. And I'm also gonna put a sketchbook here in case we wanna draw something. I'm just gonna quickly decorate this with a couple paths and maybe some more coarse dirt. And now it's really cozy. But there's one thing missing. I wanna bake a cake. So I'm gonna collect some eggs from all my chickens. And I get milk from my cows. And I'm guessing we could do this in the kitchen of my house, even though we just need to use the crafting table. I think we need sugar too. How do you make a cake? Oh, you need wheat too. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. So we can just go and harvest it from our freshly planted crop field. And now, cake. We made a cake using all of our farming products. Let's put it right here and enjoy a couple slices. I'm literally so happy about this world I built up throughout the 100 days. And I hope you enjoyed this adventure too. Also, I don't know when it was, but I completely forgot that there's a ferret on my head. It sat there this entire time. Okay, bye!